Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the CAMS and follows and its application in our day-to-day -day life means in our engineering applications. So here CAMS and follow is nothing but a CAM which is a rotating machine element which gives a reciprocating or oscillating motion to another element called as follow. So here a CAM and follow is shown in this diagram. Here if you see this is the radial or wedge CAM. And this is the follower. Here, spring force is applied on this follower so that this follower will be continuously in contact with this cam. So here, rotary motion of cam will lead to oscillating or reciprocating motion of this follower in the guideway. And this spring, it keeps the follower to be in contact with the cam. And here, this is one link and this is another link. So whatever the contact between follower and cam, it is a point contact. So this pair, a cam and follower forms a higher pair because here point contact is there. Then next classification of followers. Now followers are classified as per three categories. In that first category is according to the contact of surface. So here first type of follower is knife edge follower. Second is roller. Third is flat face or mushroom. And last is spherical. We will see in detail. So this is knife edge follower. So here the contact end of this follower with the cap will form a sharp edge or a point here and so this is called as the knife edge follower and due to this knife edge here due to sharp end at the end of this follower it will lead to excessive wear so this type of follower is rarely used in practice or in our practical application the next is the roller follower so here the contact end of the follower it forms a circular that is a roller element and this roller it particularly leads to uh, means it, uh, there will be as compared wear and tear of this roller follower will be less as compared to the knife edge follower. So this type of follower is means roller follower is commonly used in practice. Then next is flat face or it is also called as mushroom follower. So here the contact end of this uh, particular follower is particular flat. So here if you see this particular flat surface is in contact with this cam. Your cam is rotating and your follower will be oscillating or reciprocating in this guideway. And if this flat face is replaced by one spherical shape, so then it is called as the mushroom follower. And what is the positive point that whatever the side thrust which is generating due to use of the knife and roller follower, it has been reduced by using this flat face follower. The next is spherical face follower. So here the name indicates the end surface of the follower will be spherical shape. Here if you see it is a spherical shape. Now and what is the positive point of this spherical face follower? that it tries to minimize the stresses which is induced due to the flat face. This, this is the positive point of this spherical face follower over the uh, uh, flat face follower. The next uh, classification of a follower is according to the type of motion. So here uh, there are two types of motion. One is the reciprocating or translating follower. Means here the follower it will try to reciprocate in the guideway as the cam rotate is vertical. And second is the oscillating follower, means in this, the same motion will be, here it will be same. The cam will be having rotary motion and while the follower will be having predetermined oscillating motion. For example, we can see in previous slide, so this is oscillating type of follower and this is uh, translatory or respiratory type of follower. So this is the basic difference between translatory follower and oscillating follower. The next category is according to the path of motion. So here the, there are two types of follower. One is radial and another one is offset. So radial follower means the motion of the follower and the cam rotation is the cam axis and the follower motion axis. They will be in line. So that type of follower is called as radial follower. While in offset follower, here if you see, there is some eccentricity between the axis of the follower and the axis of the cam. So such type of eccentricity is nothing but what? It is called as the offset. And this follower comes under the category of offset follower. So this is the basic difference between radial follower and offset follower. I mean, now classification of cam. So cam, it is also classified according to the shape and according to the motion. So first of all, you will see according to the follower motion, how the cam is classified. So we will see in detail in next slide. So first is DR, DR, D. Means what is DR, DR, D? It is nothing but dwell, rise, dwell, return, dwell. So this cap is uh, particularly explained, well explained in this graph. So in this graph, this is the y coordinate and this is the x coordinate. So this graph is used for plotting the displacement diagram for the follower motion. 
on which x axis is having cam angle as you know cam is having a rotary motion so whatever the angle traveled by the cam will be obviously it will be 360 degree and whatever the forward displacement it will be vertical it will be linear so now dwell is nothing but your cam is standstill there will be means your cam is not rotating your follower is having no any motion and slightly when your cam starts to rotate your follower tries to move upward so this part is called as rise and it will be there at the highest position it will be there for some time that whatever the angle given by the cam that part means standstill position is called as dwell and again for the further motion of the cam the follower will come to its original position so this path is called as return path and rest again it will come to its zero position that is dwell position so here it is dwell rise dwell return dwell so this is the first category of cam according to the follower motion second is drrd means what dwell rise return dwell again this cam is now this follower motion is this cam is explained on the follower motion by this using this graph where this is dwell means it is standstill position the follower is at original position then cam is having certain angle so it will now try to rise and then it will try to sudden there will be drop there will be no any dwelling position at top side so sudden there will be drop this so it will try to return to its original position and it will remain there further for dwell position so it is called as dwell rise return and dwell the next is rrr cam so it is called as rise return rise cam so here directly there is the rise there will be no any dwell again there will be return path and then again further will be rise so such type of cam is called as rise return rise cam now cam is classified according to the shape of the cam so here if you see this is the wedge cam this is the follower this is the wedge cam it is like uh, having a slight edge at top side so it will be having translatory motion this wedge will be having translatory motion and follower will be having reciprocating motion and this disc cam is also called as radial disc cam which will be having total rotary motion and the follower will be having reciprocating motion so this is the basic difference between wedge cam and the disc cam this disc cam is also called as radial disc cam the next is your cylindrical or drum cam so here the cylindrical here the follower will be having oscillating motion and here the follower will be having translatory motion so depending upon the application the cylindrical cam is used where the follower will be having oscillating motion or where it will be having translatory motion so such type of cam is called as cylindrical or drum cam the next is globoidal cam so globoidal cam as name indicates it is like spherical surface in which there will be two types of surface one will be convex surface means one will be converging towards the center and in this concave surface it will be away means it will be going away from the center so here this is the follower these two are the followers and they are particularly having this motion through this slot so such type of cam is called as what globoidal cam so this type of cam is rarely used in your practical application the next is conjugate or double disc cam so in this double disc cam means here will be two disc so this is cam disc 1 which is shown here and this is the cam disc 2 so this follower will be in contact with the first or first cam also with the second cam so such type of cam is called as conjugate or double disc cam where the follower will be in contact with the two disc or two cam thank you